In the meantime, the national, the deputy national coordinator, Gertrude Kwashika, is also assuring caterers under the program that monies owed them will be paid in the first week of February. The caterers have been paid for the three terms, you know, of last year. And then um, the first term of 2018-2019 has been on hold, not on hold, it's been uh, what we have to do now to pay. Do you understand? So, oh, But why is it on hold? Uh, it's not. We are in the second term now. On hold, but it's being worked on. You see, so that's the right way to work on it. They are working on it. Because normally we allow the schools to open and give us what? The MS code through the GS. So we work with the MS code so that we know the authenticity of the enrollment numbers. You understand? So school vacated on 21st of December. Everybody went on holidays, of course. Christmas is dear to everybody. And so we came back on the 14th of January. That is this year. And so from that time, we have been asking for the EMIS numbers. That's the EMIS numbers, the GS numbers, so that we can actually structure up the payment file for the women. For the I know the BNI was uh, investigating, started some investigation, auditing accounts and the list of the caterers on this program. How far has that gone? Do we have we uh, have we completed the the audit of of the of the list? Uh, yes and no, because uh, they are still on it. Mm. Uh, actually, to make sure, are you talking about the underpayments? They are. The long payment, we'll talk about the underpayment too. Anyway, the long payment is not long. It's just from, you know, December, you know, up to now. I don't think it's even a month. I don't think so. So I don't think that we are violated, have we? You're, you're saying from December till yes, now. Yes, we are not violated. But well, the school, uh, mm -hmm. school vacated on the 21st. Exactly. And they resume on the 14th. Mm -hmm. And so from 14th to now, to now, we are working on it. And the minister has even seen uh, the Minister of Finance, and they have promised to release the money, mm. probably first week of February. Mm. Yes, so she has actually met us and have actually declared that by that first week, that's for us from next week, mm. you know, payment to be effected. Mm. But how about those under the underpaid? That has been a little issue that is being resolved. Mm. So it's, it's being resolved for everybody. We know that we owe caterers, and Minister herself knew that, and she's working every length and breadth to make sure that these monies are paid to everybody. Yes. I, I know there's been times we've had reports about they were still under the underpayment, where P, the caterers are supposed to receive their money, but it goes through another person again, and by the time it gets to them, it's woefully inadequate and all that, a whole lot of issues. There have been times we hear there's political office. We know when you go to the ground, some of these issues are raised. Where this, How are we streamlining all these issues coming up? Actually, with the new ministers coming, she has actually told us that she's coming to bring a new software so that we can bring some new uh, managerial uh, uh, you know, device and... Uh, understanding into the applications and to the, to the payments. So the new device is being built by, it's been organized by EAA, EA, the Youth Employment uh, Agency. Agency. So they are